Hey all, welcome back to the Fire Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to do a little bit of different cook. I'm actually going to show you how you can sous vide two different meats at the same time, as long as you're cooking them at the same temp. So, I'll be right back. Hey guys, this question comes up a lot in some of the Facebook groups on sous vide and in my uh, fire and water cooking uh, group as well. A lot of people ask, can I sous vide two different things at the same time? And I'm going to show you that you can do that. The only issue that ever comes up is you got to make sure you're, you're wanting to you know, sous vide at the same temperature. So for instance, today uh, I'm going to make some ribeyes. I'm going to finish on the Kamado Joe on the soapstone. And then I'm also going to throw in some uh, London broil, also known as top round steak, uh, for Saturday. So I want this to cook for 48 hours. So this is going to go in the bath at the same time as these ribeyes, which I'll pull out in about two and a half to, or about three hours or so. So that's what we're going to do today. So the cook today I'm going to do is going to be on these ribeyes, but then I'm also going to use this as a cook for these uh, top round uh, steaks that we're going to do. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Inova Nano that I just recently picked up. The uh, smaller, newer, uh, Bluetooth only uh, uh, Nova uh, unit. And what I've got it hooked up right now is in the, into my Lapavi container. And I'm going to put both of these um, packages in the same container, but I'm going to cook them at the same temperature because I want them, as far as the doneness goes, I want the same doneness. So I'm going to be doing them both at 133, so right about medium rare. The only difference is the top round is going to go in for 48 hours. And the uh, ribeyes are going in for about three and a half or so. I'm going to set the Innova using the uh, Bluetooth app. I'm going to set the temperature right at, uh, I'm going to set it at 132. I've got it set at 132 on here already. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the timer for 48 hours. And then I'm going to manually put, pull the other stakes out, um, the ribeyes today. So... I know what time I want them to come out. Right now it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. So I want them out, you know, at about 6.30 or so is when I want to get them out so I can cook them, sear them up. So I don't really need the timer on that portion of it. I just know when I'm going to pull them out. So I'm going to go ahead and just manually set this 132 for 48 hours. And then I'm just going to tell it to go. So now it's going to start the ANOVA, it's going to heat the water up. As soon as it comes up to temp, I'm going to put both packages in and then I'll finish up the rest of these videos and show you how easy that is. So, all right guys, I'll be all back right, in a guys, few. the ANOVA just went off, telling me that it's uh, hit temp. So I'm going to go ahead and toss these in the sous vide. Like I said, this one's going in for 48. This is the top brown steak. And the ribeyes are going in for about three and a half hours. So I'll see you guys in a few. I pulled the ribeyes out of the sous vide bath. And I left the uh, top round in there. So that's going to stay in there for another 44 hours or so. So these have only been a little over three hours, three and a half hours at 132. So I'm going to go ahead and pat these dry. They were seasoned with a little salt, pepper, and garlic when uh, I put them in the bag. And these are those prime rib roasts that uh, I had bought in the iCard above and broke down into steaks. So I'm going to go ahead, pat that dry. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to season them up with a little bit of my steak seasoning, which has got a little bit of espresso coffee, salt, salt, pepper, garlic, pepper, salt, pepper, garlic, and coffee. A little bit of onion powder. So I'm going to do that. And then we're going to sear these on the Kamado Joe soapstone tonight. Be the first time I'm using that. And the soapstone is uh, kind of like a piece of granite. They make countertops out of it. 
as well but it's uh, non-microbial and heats a little bit more even than cast iron so you're gonna get a really good hard sear on these tonight good Meyer reaction so that's it I'm gonna that's it just put a little bit on each side and then we're gonna be out to the grill all right yeah. my Kamado Joe is sitting at 450 on the thermometer here but I know the surface of the uh, soapstone there is a little bit more than that because that is directly over the heat and direct heat and that is pretty hot and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray that with just a little bit of the duck fat of our duck fat spray you can use any kind of fat you want you just want something on here for this to sizzle get that nice reaction I know it's hot so I'm gonna go ahead and put first ribeye on a little piece of ribeye and you hear it sizzle as soon as it hits you know it's hot and this is on my Kamado Joe classic so it does not have as much room as my big Joe would but it's perfect for these four big size steaks so I think we're all right there and what I'm gonna do is since I have these on I'm gonna hit this side of the steak with a little bit of the duck fat as well not a ton you just want to get a nice good coating on there we're just gonna let those sear I'm gonna close this for a minute let some of that heat stay in there and then I'm give it about a minute and a half okay, I'll be right back. a little over a minute and one of the things I want to tell you about this soapstone is unlike cast iron it does not cool down as fast when the meat hits it so the, the stone actually is really thick it's about an inch and a half thick and it has um, good thermal properties so it holds the heat better and you see that crust on there and like I said that's only after about a minute a little over a minute You see, that's a, good, a really good sear on that one. Some really good sears going on here. Well, that looks perfect. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close this down for another minute. All right, guys, I flipped them one more time, and they are done. You can look at that. They look very good. They look awesome. Give you a little look there. See how they look. I'm going to get these inside and we'll cut them up. All right, guys. Look how juicy those look. I'm going to go ahead and get me a fork. But I've uh, got the nice Maillard reaction on both sides here. See that nice crust? Actually, I this one looks pretty good. I cut that piece. But I'm going to cut this one right in the middle so you can see we're still medium rare very juicy it's just kind of a cut part here so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that one right off you can see how that is real medium rare and juicy blood still coming right out of that mm -mm -mm. a couple of these little nice charred pieces here try that one Oh, very tender salt pepper garlic and that coffee rub it's awesome man can't wait to dig into these try it guys if you get a Kamado Joe make sure you uh, get the soapstone is that a really good searing tool and these ribeyes turned out perfect I can't wait to go eat the rest of them Mm. Wow, that was good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and make sure 
you check out the videos above on how we cut these into steaks from the ribeyes from the uh, prime rib check out Kamado Joe grills and the soapstone and I'll see you on the next video thanks guys I'm gonna go eat now